Welcome to the Ask O'Brien College Guide to preparing your assessment video for the Level 3 Sport Pathway. We hope this video will help you prepare for your course and be a guide as to the level your riding needs to have reached to be on the Sport Pathway. Don't worry though if you aren't quite there yet, we also have a practical equine management pathway. The standard we asked for is equivalent to the BHS Stage 2. This is largely a City and Girls are awarding body required to be at Stage 3 standard in order to pass the riding modules, particularly the more specialised Year 2 ones. It is a challenging level and not being accepted onto the pathway does not mean we are saying you are not a good rider. We want everyone to achieve on the pathway they will perform best at. It may also be that you are a great rider, but actually another pathway will further your career ambitions better. Our tutors are always happy to discuss this with you. The first thing we look for is to see you mounting from a block. An assistant to hold your horse or stirrup is perfectly fine. We are looking for a quiet approach, a safe control of the horse and a smooth mount that is not jarring to the horse's mouth or back. Whilst it's not necessary to include this on your video, altering your stirrups without moving your feet is an important skill to master and one we will expect you to employ for safety. This rider shows it done efficiently and safely. We also need to see you in walk on both reins. This clip shows a nice relaxed walk with a nice change of rein. However, be careful not to film from too far away, as it can be difficult to clearly see your position and contacts. It is, however, also important not to be too close when filming or to be zooming in and out so it's difficult to see the overall picture. In this clip it is hard to get an appreciation for this horse and rider, although it does allow us to see an unstable leg with a high nagging heel. We are looking for an effective but quiet leg. The next thing we are considering is your trot work. We need to see this on both reins in rising, sitting and light seat. Don't worry, you don't have to do loads in sitting, just enough so we can see you are in balance, keeping your basic position well and are not reliant on the rein for balance. We are looking overall in trot for a good rhythm, effective aids and an overall position and balance. Be careful that your stirrups are the right length. You can see in this clip her balance is good, but her too long stirrups means she's just stood up and not in an effective position. Canter is also assessed. We need to see your regular and light seat. Again, we are looking for control, balance and an independent seat. You should have a stable lower leg that does not swing too much and secures your overall position.
Again, this rider is showing a nice and light seat that is secure and balanced. Next we need to take a look at your work about stirrups. We'd like to see walk, trot and canter. This needs to show some work on each rein, ideally with some basic school movements and with some transitions. This first clip here shows a nice secure leg, a regular contact and a supple seat. This rider does lean a little back and this does push her lower leg slightly forward, but she's clearly safe and secure. The second rider is less supple through her seat and back, but again is secure and not reliant on her reins for balance. She also shows a nice change of rein. The third rider is confident and secure and doesn't show any particular difference to riding with stirrups. You will notice in this clip she takes the time to rebalance her trot after the first canter. There's no need to rush and therefore she shears a nice canter transition away. We also need to assess your jumping. It is possible to be a non-jumping sports student, but only as a year two. This is as the flat and jumping are two separate modules. You would do specialist project instead of jumping. If you want to do sport in year one, you will need to be able to jump a course of show jumps. For the assessment, we need to see you jump a course of eight jumping efforts of up to 80 centimetres. And they must include an upright, a spread, a double with one or two strides in the middle, and a dog leg bend. This is the planks to the skinny in our video. We've used the skinny in our video, but you don't need to for your assessment. If you have fewer than eight fences available to you, it is perfectly fine to jump the same one more than once. As part of our course, we've used the same fence, but jumped the opposite way for fences two and six. The black horse you see here is very keen but the rider is in control and is still allowing him over his fences and is safe. We would say that this rider is clearly at the level. This coloured horse is a much steadier horse. The rider is quiet and encouraging with her riding and gives the horse a positive experience. Again, we would say that this rider is at the level.
finally, we need to see the dismount. This first rider lightly dismounts, but being filmed from the other side doesn't make it easy to see. The second rider is clearly seen lightly dismounting. The third rider actually makes it look very easy. However, we don't use Western style dismounts, so please show a dismount that has you quitting both stirrups before you dismount. Once we've reviewed your video, you'll get a feedback template from us. This is designed to make it clear where you are and what to work on. Depending on the outcome, you'll be offered a place or given areas to develop. We also run an induction assessment. This is particularly aimed for borderline students but anyone can ask to take part. We hope this video has helped you in preparing for your course and we look forward to seeing you in September.